Today, a judge in Cleveland says there is enough evidence to bring criminal charges against two police officers in the fatal shooting of a young boy. The charges include murder. But whether the officers are actually charged will be up to a grand jury. Dean Reynolds tells us that activists used an obscure state law to have the judge weigh in as a way to pressure the prosecutors for an indictment. The shooting took place seven months ago and was captured on video. That's 12-year-old Tamir Rice waving what turned out to be a toy gun. A 911 caller that day alerted police and said the gun might be fake. You know, it's probably fake, but he's like pointing at everybody. But that information was never transmitted to the two officers who responded, and the boy was shot less than two seconds after they arrived. Tonight, a municipal judge in effect said both officers on the scene should be charged. Timothy Lohman, who opened fire with murder, and his partner Frank Garmbach with negligent homicide. The officers are white. Rice was black. Community activists have been pushing for action, and on Tuesday they tried to force the issue. The Reverend Jawanza Colvin. The Ohio Revised Code allows for any person who believes that a crime is being committed the legal option to make their case directly known to the courts. We have done just that. But the finding by Judge Ronald Adrian is seen as largely symbolic, Scott. It will not force the hand of the prosecutor, Timothy McGinty, who released a statement tonight saying that the ultimate decision on charges is up to the grand jury and always has been. Dean Reynolds with the breaking story tonight. Dean, thank you.